First things first, uh, today is, uh, if you look at your calendars, <laughs> today is the 4th of July. Um, they call it Independence Day. I don't believe in that. This ain't no Independence Day because one thing's first, one thing's first, that's not right. Anyway, first things first, we are not independent. Because if you look at the definition of independent, independent means free from outside of control. I don't think we live in that way right now. That is plain to see um, with all of these things going on. Uh, people are getting fired from their jobs for posting, for saying Black Lives Matter, but they're not getting killed for police brutality. Some ain't right. Let's talk about it. Anyways, so that's just one thing. Celebrate y'all day. Have a great time. Listen to your music. Enjoy your barbecue, but don't celebrate the 4th of July. We ain't with that. If you with that, go somewhere else with it. <laughs> And you can drink because you drink every Saturday. Exactly. Yeah, it's the weekend. Know. Let's get lit. Let's get turned. Let's do what they do. Of course, always, always. Be of age, have your ID 21 up. You know what I mean? Don't drink and drive. Mm -hmm. Stay safe. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Call, Call Uber, Uber, Lyft, uh, wear your mask in that mug, get your gloves, do what you need to do. You know what I mean? But um, another information I want to give off, this is very important for my people. Primary runoff elections are July 14th. Go out and vote. And early voting is going on now. It started last week and it goes up into the day of July 14th. So make sure you get out there, you vote. Uh, do your research too. I know it's easy Most to definitely. We're gonna go vote, yay, my vote counts. But like not if you don't know who you're voting for. So make sure even if you do the Instagram, you know, pre information that's on there, any information is good information, make sure you do your research and vote according to the things that you believe and not, you know, what you think the world needs. 100%. Um, and I need somebody to step up and uh, actually, like, I guess get something going where they have just talk about politics and actually, like, give people some information that's going on with your, like, community at all times. Like, just make that be a thing. A lot of people want to talk about, oh, I'm in politics, you know, they watch this, that, and the other, but let's, let's get that because it's a, it's, a, it's a reason why we're happy, we like the information because we're not giving it to us. So we need to, we need to get that. Um, Research as well. As, also, okay. you can always do your due diligence, of course, of it course. It given to you, but you can also go find it. But you can't force a horse to drink out the water. Is that what the, the saying goes? Something like that, right? Okay, we're going to yeah. go with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, so, okay, but this is one thing I want to touch on. Is since we're talking about uh, these trying times, this police brutality and everything, I was on the, on the interweb one day. And um, I ran into this thing called allyship fatigue. Have y'all heard of that? I saw something about that recently. Yes? yes. Okay. Yes. So um, allyship fatigue is becoming aware of injustice that you may have been blind to before, um, and it can be overwhelming. Seeing people in pain is hard. Making yourself uncomfortable is tiring. This work is important. It's, it's long term, and it's aiming to make big, big changes in the world. Now, I saw this and I was like, hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> to me, so I, cause I talked to somebody else about this and they said it sounded like, oh, it's like, you know, being like ironic or whatever, like, maybe not the words ironic, um, what's the word? I don't know, y'all not need help right now, y'all need help me get that. That might be the word. It's the word? Okay, cool. Word. Hey, thank you, Webster's. Anyways, um, <laughs> so it's just, to me, it seems like in the next coming years, this is going to be a mental health thing. Like, oh, I have allyship fatigue. I need to go to, I need to get medication for this because I'm so tired for helping the people. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Man, um, I'm going to let y'all know I'm getting, I'm getting uh, censored here. I'm getting very censored. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just don't think that is... Uh, and I did my research on the lady that actually posted it, and she's a biracial woman. And so, um, with that being said, I feel like, to, to me, just to me, this is Rashad's opinion. Check that out. Uh, follow me, Y U N G N O M A D, Young Nomad. Uh, <laughs> I just say it feels like it's there. She's kind of caving for her her counterparts. That's not the minority. Um, mm -hmm. We're on this theory. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. Cool. So yeah. Um, and it's just. Sounds real lazy. I have a question. Ask away. Okay, so we talk about allyship fatigue. So I'm tired because I had to learn about all this stuff that the colonizers are putting us through, mm. right? Them people. Um, mm, them peoples. Mm. But what about the people who are being put into that? What, what kind of fatigue is that? Is that regular fatigue? Is that, fatigue? fatigue? is that racial fatigue? Like, is there a name for that? Just like. 
Yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you're just supposed to just okay. yeah, it's separate and dangerous. But I thought we were moving forward because you know change. No? Mm. You would think. You would think. It's 2020, right? What was that? Irony? Ironic? Is that yes, very yeah. ironic. Yeah. 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 Get your yeah. dictionaries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's just, uh, man, this is really crazy. Uh, it was something else with this, too. What did it say? Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> it went on to say, it said, if you feel guilty. <laughs> Maybe you feel guilty about past words or actions. Maybe you feel guilty that you're late to the fight. Maybe you feel guilty that you've been benefited from an unequal system. This is all valid. Use these feelings to push for more action, not to stop from taking the next step. Yes, another question. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I uh, do think that is very accurate, though. Like, because the truth of the matter is. Stop. Accurate in what sense? Yeah, please. Yeah, the truth of the matter <laughs> is white people. Oh. 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 Oh, the YTs. <laughs> the thing about the YTs, right, it's like, oh, I didn't know that all of this was happening. It's like, well, it's just all in my face now. I'm sorry. Um, but also at the same time, like, it is. Now that you recognize it, because before I was blind to it, right? I was ignorant to it. Right. Now that I see it, oh, this is where, this is how I benefit from that, and I can use my privilege, because that's the only thing that you can do. No one's asking you to, you know, change your skin tone, you know, become a minority so that you can fight the fight, but use the privilege that you have, acknowledge, because it does start with acknowledgement. You can't make a change until you decide, 100%. like, I see what's going on. So now that you see it, Decide, like, oh, like, like we saw a lot of people de uh, definitely at the start of the riots and things like that. You saw YT bodies in front of minority bodies to protect those people from the police, and mm -hmm. that is. I know you're not going to, you know, pull, draw a weapon at me because of my skin color, so I'm going to put myself in front of somebody that you might draw that weapon to. So I do feel like uh, there is some, that allyship, fatigue, whatever, girl, but uh, <laughs> I do believe using your YT privilege to protect those who don't have that same access, or you know, to give opportunities to those who don't have that same 100%. access. Like even in different areas, we talk about how a lot of the people at the top are not people of color, and we expect them to hire and put these people in. Use that platform to make sure that you're putting people of minorities. Check out these companies' boards. Uh, There's not black people in them. Mm -hmm. There's not black people in them. There's not minorities in them. Check them. Check them. Check them. Put them and, in check. Um, yeah, and so I, I do. I think that's what it is. I do think there was some validity to that. Um, it, and I, I thank the people who are doing it correctly as an ally, but also fatigue. Just get off the internet if you're tired. That's what I do. Exactly. It's like it's like a cyberbullying. Just get off the computer. Yeah. Just get off the computer. You don't. Um, the day, but like I agree with you. It's somewhat valid, but to an extent, um, I feel like if you act like you weren't aware of the stuff that was going on, it's cap. It's full cap. One hundred percent. No, definitely, especially in today's uh, Come on, year, yeah. our Lord, twenty twenty. Yeah, man, it's just, uh, it's, there's no way you can say that you weren't aware of this, because I'm, I'm positive that you was, you ran into a minority in some sense of some, in your work, your personal life, at a park, whatever, any sense possible, and that discussion came up some way, somehow, and you ignored that saying, like, oh, but I have a black friend, I have a Hispanic friend, um, I went to Mexico for a mission one day, one time, that doesn't mean anything, that's a vacation, that's, you know, it's, <sighs> Anyways, I can go on about this all day. I'm not gonna bum y'all out. It's a it's a day to celebrate um, being off, not the Fourth of July. Yeah, let's get that understood. Again. It's a day to be off. <laughs> but um, but I, I do want to really quickly say before, if we move on to the next topic, for those who are out there doing the work, doing what needs to be done in a you know in an ethical way, in a way that's really making change, regardless of your skin tone, if you are fighting for Black lives because they do. Yes. Um, also, black trans lives matter just because they're in there too. Bam. Um, so, if you are the people that's out there doing the work, thank you. We do appreciate it. But, you know, we, everybody knows if you are those people, you also know that we have a long way to go. So, definitely appreciate it. And, y'all, I know it can be tiring. Just if you have to get off the internet, you know, somebody yeah, is going to have to take them iPhones from us. Yeah. It's, mm, y'all not going to. What's up? We're not doing that. Um, Steve Jobs is rolling his grave. Uh, <laughs> but um, one thing I want to touch on real quick before we get off this topic, uh, just to let y'all know, if y'all haven't like noticed this already, um, Black Lives Matter. They make that a political issue. It's 100% true. They make it a political issue, but in case you didn't know, they do that because on certain websites like uh, Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook, if you use um, anything that's political, you can't run an ad for it. Yeah. You can't advocate that. So, 
that's a little need to know kind of thing. Um, makes more, a lot more sense why they do things this way. Everything's not a political issue just because, oh, I want to get votes. It's to stop some things from having being spoke on. It's a trend, too. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you know, everybody's going up for the Black Lives Matter. Let's put it on a t-shirt and sell it. Or let's have a Black Lives Matter collection and make sure that we get the people. Donate to black them. businesses. Stop trying to come up for yourself. Black, black. Anyways, um, yeah, next topic. Uh, What's up? I don't mean to segue, but uh, I guess uh, what does the phrase Black Lives Matter mean to y'all? Because to me, I, I see that as just being uh, what it is, Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. I don't take it in as a political statement, as a advertising or a marketing scheme. I just take it as, hey, black people matter too. As somebody who's been black my whole life, mm -hmm. I also yeah, that's 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 well, It else. was at one time I did kind of dabble in the you know, other side. Yeah, yeah. what color were you? I was, you know, just a little light skin with light skin, you know, bleach my skin a little bit. Oh, don't do oh, that, y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, don't do that, that's not good. <laughs> love yourself, love yourself, please. <laughs> but no, um, no, uh, Black Lives Matter is Black Lives Matter. If anybody makes it anything else, they're choosing to make it that way. It's the same reason of anything saying like, oh, you're being racist, and you think, oh, I'm not racist. I once ate chicken and watermelon. Yeah. Like, no, that's racist, bro. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Stereotype and like going into that. But yes, also, Black Lives Matter means just that Black Lives, they matter. We have value, we have life, we have things to bring to the ecosystem. We have things to bring to the people around us, to our community, so. We are the community, we are the ecosystem, just to let y'all know. We are the culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what Black Lives Matter Where's the amigos? Mm -hmm. Terry Crews. No, don't, let's, let's not bring his name. We can't say his name on the air. We're not saying his name on the air. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He never, he never, he never left all the white chicks. He, he got trapped in there. He never went back. He just, oh. okay, bye. Um, bye. <laughs> but no, again, black lives matter. There's nothing else to it. Um, nobody's saying all lives don't matter. We're just saying black lives do matter because if anything, we are treated as <sighs> bottom of the barrel, scum of the earth, if not, you know, and if us saying Black Lives Matter is read any other way, again, you're choosing to look at it that way. Oh, I'm sorry. So go ahead. No, very valid. But did y'all see? Because you know the the um, the mayor, he has his his wall the, the of shame. Mayor of Houston? He has his wall oh, of shame. Did y'all see what talking about? Bar Lives Matter. Since when did bars no, get posts? Okay, stop. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not telling you stop. I'm talking about the mayor. Yeah, He's bars don't have posts. Yeah. Pulses, pulses. Uh, they don't like breathe and live, and you don't have futures and you know those behind them. Yeah. Being a, uh, a bar worker, <laughs> being a, an officer, or being uh, an employee yeah. is a, a, a job. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, so oh, that you choose. Bar lives matter, yeah. girl. What? I don't. I can't. I can't really listen to the mayor too much because he also gave Cardi B and Drake a day, and they're not even from here. That's all I'm saying. Well, we're gonna get on the day. It's another day. Yeah, another day. Another day. <laughs> That's the time um. So segue. Um. So now we talk about allyship fatigue. Now, how do you feel about your Hmm. I'm trying to be politically correct here. Uh, Don't ooh. Your uh, say like your colonizer friends and your uh, minority friends, Hispanics. You know, maybe some Muslims. Not Muslims. That's not a place. I'm sorry. Um, you know, other people. Just so other people other than black. Basically, let's do that. Everybody else that ain't black. <laughs> minorities that aren't black, or just anybody outside of the black guy. Just right now, I'm sorry. We're finding a black fight. This is a black fight right now. It is. We're like yes, it's also Hispanics and um people are just trapped inside containment. Um places for ice and everything which is actually right. being undone very soon for the kids yeah. kids are getting released shout out to that um shout out to people finding a good fight for that but again i, I can't i feel like me me rashad says this <laughs> i feel like we can't move forward until we solve the black issue in america i am sorry we can get to everything else once we solve that we can step forward so did I ask my question? Can we? But I just want to say real quick, can we not? I mean, I, I feel like we can fight two fights. No, we can always fight the fight, but at the end of the day, if we can't get, okay, if we're at the, we have to work from the ground up. Right. If we can't hit this, if we're at the bottom of the barrel, and we can't work from the ground up, what is really getting done? Yeah. Because again, we are the culture. Yes, it is, it is very true, but it's also, we can't. Yes, we are going through this, and we are going. I don't. I definitely don't want to call it a race war. Um, other people can, you know, define it. They said that's what they happened today. But um, <clears throat> I think like we can <laughs> acknowledge. 
you know, no, I'm just saying, I was just letting it be out there. I'm the trying to inform people. lives that have passed and you know how they do matter, but we can also acknowledge larger situations that are happening in other communities. Because then you think about it, like how do we want Hispanic people and people of other races to come out and march for George Floyd and march for our black lives if we're not willing to give them that same, like, or not even when, acknowledge when it? I, I never said that we're not going to assist them. Cause, but, cause I'm, that's never a question for me because black people are loving people. Right. We love, that's what we do. So that's never been a question on my mind. I'm, I'm always down to help. But again, we gotta want to help ourselves. Mm -hmm. And again, like I feel like, yes, there's always people out there fighting the fight. But again, numbers means a lot. You have to, you have to, have to be, be collective and actually have one, like one body, one sound. You know, not to get drum on y'all, but you know what I mean. Like, it's, it's one yeah, <laughs> no, for real, it's it's very important because like only one person can do so much. You know, right. so, so again, as a community, we can do a lot. Exactly, together. but it's always, in a, but we also know that it's plenty of Hispanic people that also not trying to fight for us. So I think what's important is not that we can't fight two fights at one, but we can't allow one to overtake the other. We have you don't to want keep to be them. one more important. Yeah, we definitely. I'm not saying it's more important, but it's. I'm just saying one is one. Because the thing is, you can march for George Floyd on Tuesday and march for um, the the officer Gillen. I want to say is her name. Oh, uh, uh, Vanessa Gillen. Yes, yes, you can and march for her on Wednesday. You can do two things, but I think the important thing is that these are all important issues, and that we should give them just like we say, Black Lives Matter. Like these issues matter. Uh, no, hundred percent. Okay, I think when I say that, then it's. It's, again, it's on more of the um, political side, if anything, I guess. Because um, if we're all trying to do everything at once, nothing's going to get done. You know, you have to. We have to focus on the one thing, do everything in order. Because you try to, you try to wear too many hats at once, you're not going to get anywhere. It's going to be like, you know, it's just the energy's not going to be placed in the right place. So let's do one thing at a time. Like, let's just focus in and like. On a cool, just get some like like horse blinders and just focus on the one thing. Okay, next thing. Let's keep moving. And, like you have to keep it moving, keep it forward. Because the problem is, it's not that people don't want to fight the fight. It's people get fired, uh, get tired of fighting the fight. That's more what it really is. And I don't mean to argue. But I know this is what we're here for. Let's do it. Saying, I'm here. I'm but, here. But that's what I'm saying. If we're walking with these horse blinders, but I'm everything. Not saying, I can I can still see. I just gotta turn my head. No, you can only see but, what's in front okay, of you. But you okay, but then that's probably people don't want to turn to the other side but, to see what's going on. But that's not what you're saying. No, that is what I'm saying. You're that's saying a, we need to focus on one thing. So right that's to get to the next. But things don't happen. Idealistically, things don't happen. Like things don't happen in a ladder. A lot of things exactly. happen a lot of times. Okay. You okay. think of so, like, okay. so we think about sorry. even thinking about like different areas of your life. Like you know, in your career area, you got this. Mm -hmm. You know, in your love life, you got this. You know, with your friends, you have this. You don't. You can't say, "Well, I'm not gonna make friends until I get where I need to be in my career." And then you get there, and then you get to the friends level. Well, I'm not gonna find somebody that I can fall in love with until I make 18 friends. Like you have to be able. And I think that's the important thing. We have to be able to multitask. Yes, things are important, but the real work is gonna be done through multitasking and in an ecosystem okay, that is true. Okay. that targets these different things. Okay, maybe I'm not making myself clear. But I'm gonna go off the words of Gary Vee. Um, check him out. He has good information. He he believes in the 70-30 rule. You put 70% into whatever you feel like will actually get you somewhere, and 30% is everything else. I'm not saying that we don't put our energy into it, but our made a majority of our energy has to go into one thing at a time because we focus on everything else, nothing will get done. And again, I'm sorry, me being black, I'm focusing on black issues. Right. That's just me. No, and I get that. I'm no, a fight for everybody else. I'm, a, I'm with peace, love, happiness till I die. I'm a hippie, bro. Peace, <laughs> brother. Hippie. You know what I mean? Like, I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm here. But like, I'm, that's just me though, because again, I've seen people not fighting the fight for me. I, right. There's still minority people that I know that still say the N-word. They yeah, should know that's not okay. Yeah, definitely. I'm not. I'm not saying I don't feel sympathy for what they're going through. Or anything. I'm there. I'm with them. You want to go out and march? Let's go. Let's. Well, actually, I'm not with the march and stuff anymore. That's another topic for another day. Um, but I'm with the action mm -hmm. petitions. Let's go to the vote. Let's go out to these meetings and everything. And with all that marching, that's out the window. Y'all making that a trend. Y'all trying to go out and have a good time because y'all been stuck inside. But anyways. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, I do. I definitely understand where you're coming from, being a black person. But for those who are listening, I don't want you to feel like you can't do both. Oh no, you can always do both. You can, uh, 
you know, a 70 30, but well, I think you can put 70 percent into just social justice as a whole. As a whole, and, you know, you can tackle all those tasks together. I think, you know, y'all do what y'all want to do. How about that? <laughs> just do what y'all want to do. As long as y'all fight that good fight trying to make everybody equals, I'm with it. I'm with y'all. Let's support that because I you ain't gonna cancel me. I just started this is my first day here. <laughs> Businesses, into black stores, into yes, black markets, into black stocks. Spray that. just said 3% across black. Yes, okay. yes, yes. And invest you your money, invest your time. For those that that applies to. Yes. Um, but yeah, thank, okay. again, thank y'all for fighting the fight, for joining with us um, at these, after, you know, how long it's been? It's been a minute, but you know, it's been a couple hundred years or so. Murder Brianna Taylor. Whoa, arrest them, lock them up, throw away the key. We can get George Zimmerman while we had it too on the cool. Let's go back to that. But, um,